Hey guys, Badger here. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Today I'm going to show you a uh, short and quick and uh, yes, it's a very old video. It's how to bypass the Windows XP screen. Um, okay, I know Windows XP is old, but I actually do still have clients that run it and I have been asked this question a few times now in the last few weeks. So I decided to make a video on it. Okay. So I'm just going to show you guys that we do have a password on here. As you can see, it wants a password. Type in anything. Nope, sorry, wrong password. Okay, to bypass this, all that you need to do is you press Control alt delete delete So let's do that now. And then you should get this screen. It's the old classic start. Now you take out the username and password, and you type in administrator as the username and no password if all goes well should log in now this doesn't always work um, if somebody has set up uh, administrator password then that will not work whether it was set up later or in the windows initial setup itself it doesn't matter then this will not work but i have found that it works most of the time now we can't recover the old password but we can create a new one so we go to start my computer right click it click on manage go to local users and groups click on users then you should see all of the users assigned to your machine okay as you can see there's the administrator now from here we can set up a new password for it if it was blank or we can change the password if you knew what it was and here's the account that we want so we right click on this and we say set password click on proceed Type in the new password, let's make it 456. And we say OK. Close everything. Log off. And now, if all went according to plan, we should be able to log in using our new password. Now, there are other ways to do this, but this is what I found to be the quickest and easiest. Um, OK, guys. Let me know if you liked the video, so like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, if you think it was horrible and you never want me to make videos again, that's fine, I understand, but that's your opinion. Give me a shout in the, dis uh, not in the description, in the comment section if there's anything that you need help with or any specific video that you want me to make. And please remember to subscribe guys, and if you want to do the same process on Windows 7, I will put an annotation up in the top right hand corner, just click the video and then you can see more or less the same process on Windows 7. A little bit more complicated, but it does work. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Enjoy!